the world-famous St. Mark's Square in Venice. The best way to see the city's landmarks is on the water. Luciano Pelliccioli has been a gondolier for 25 years. I like being a gondolier. When I was little, my father took me along and taught me how to row. This is part of life in Venice. The oar is a part of my hometown, which was built on the water. lovely. It, it, it gives a, a, a different perspective on Venice when you, when you see it from a gondola. Luciano Pelliccioli's gondola is muscle-powered, using an oar on one side called the Remo. Now aged 48, he's been doing this for decades, but it's still hard work to steer the 10-metre long boat through the narrow canals. Careful, we don't want to fall into the water. Phoenician gondolas are works of art in themselves. Luciano Pelliccioli paid 50,000 euros for his. He had it built to his own specifications out of nine types of wood. The hand-carved forcola, the orlock, is made to suit his height and the backrest bears his family crest. This gondola, it is mine and the name is Stefania. Is it the name to my wife? I'm really Venetian. I don't have any license to drive a car. Only boats. <laughs> On boat or walk. Luciano Pelliccioli rows the British tourists through San Polo, the oldest part of Venice. About 5,000 people still live here in the old town, but surprisingly few tourists find their way through the narrow streets, alleys and canals. I like this neighbourhood because I was born and raised here. My mama and papa were born here too. I learned how to swim and row in this canal. I feel very close to this part of town. I learned to swim in this corner over there when I was baby. Eh? Long, long time ago. <laughs> The gondolier's profession looks back on a long tradition, starting in the 11th century. The city's well-to-do would have themselves rowed around the city in gondolas fitted with small cabins called felzi. Back when residents depended on gondolas for transportation, there were over 10,000 on Venice's canals. Today, only some 500 are left, used mainly by tourists. <laughs> Luciano Pelliccioli moors his gondola beneath the famous Rialto Bridge, one of the most coveted spots in Venice. There's no shortage of tourists passing by. Drumming up his business is part of the gondolier's job. Good afternoon, signora. Just 80 euros. 80 euros will pay for a 45-minute gondola ride. The prices are standardised according to strict guidelines. The licensed gondolieri have attended a special school, learned the city's history and studied foreign languages. Here in front of us is the Rialto Bridge, the oldest bridge in Venice. It's over 400 years old. A unique feature are the 24 shops lining it. Many people dream of becoming a gondolier. There are only 400 gondoliers with a license. We're a part of Venice. This profession immerses you completely in this city.
Luciano Pellicioli spends up to 14 hours a day rowing his passengers through the canals, but he doesn't sing for them. Amateur singers are no longer welcome on the gondolas, only professionals. <laughs>